Hello everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. As Cyprus, we are playing as Alexandra, the young despotissa who has had quite a rough start into her reign. We're currently in a civil war against our two... Well, one of them is our cousin, the other is our, I believe, uncle? Yes, our uncle and dynasty head, and also head of the Sebastopolis cadet branch. Now, um, in the last episode, I was actually considering, you know, since we are a Craven character, to completely give in and basically just, you know, avoid the civil war, give in to the pressure, as perhaps a Craven person would do. But I, I'm glad I decided, well, I really, the, the main factor I decided against it was because I didn't, I just didn't want to give up. Uh, everything I've worked for, but I feel like it also does fit the character somewhat because you know she's she's a greedy person. She wants you know money and riches and so on and so forth. And you can obviously get a lot more money as a, a despot and not just a simple um, count of a single county far off from the Homa. Obviously, Rushka is very very far away. Now, in addition to that, I feel like that she could have. Um, I think another yeah motivation could have been that uh, the county Rushka, which would have been the county we would be left with, has a lot of other claimants, uh, including Dragon, for example. So the idea could be that after the kingdom was taken away from us, they could come after the last remaining holding that we have, and we wouldn't really be safe there either. And so I feel like taking uh, the fight immediately is probably also um, a reasonable a decision. But yeah, uh, we see that there's uh, some construction going on in the city. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, let's actually just move on forward and see how this war goes. Our ally has come to our aid. Now he has 800 men. So this is actually really cool because we have some 500 enemies over here and then he will have some 800 men. He can at least um, disrupt them and then in the meantime we can get together and uh, besiege Famagusta over here and at least uh, control Cyprus. So yeah, uh, we're still gathering troops. Now we are moving, immediately besieging, and that should give us a lot of war score. Plus, we have a relatively decent commander here. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So far, a faction has been created. Our allies actually arrive. Interesting. And what is happening over here? Oh, yeah. So you're besieging Rushka. That's fine. That's actually fine with me. Um, okay. We have taken Count Bosporius' brother and friend, Herotus. Is that the one who they want to install as claimant? Is that correct? Yeah. So we have the claimant imprisoned. And it was actually his wife that we imprisoned. So he was probably unhappy about that too. Interesting. So she was released and now he's imprisoned. That's so funny. He should be happy actually, but whatever. Um, okay, so he's been taken prisoner and three others as well. Okay, then let me quickly see who we have imprisoned. Uh, by the way, that can just be assist ruler, thank you. Um, nope, court please. Five prisoners. Okay, so we have the little child, a lot of children, and then Countess Peronel, we have, okay, our cousin's wife, and she's pregnant. And do we have all his children? We have some of his children. Okay. Well, that's going to be very costly for him. Very costly, I can tell you that much. In fact, let me see. Mm, can I not ransom this child for 10 gold? Isn't that your son? Philippos. Who's 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 Michael? Oh, that's uh oh right, that's your son. I see. I get it. And then Philippos, that should be worth a lot more. Only 10 gold, really? Seems super cheap. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. We have won the siege, and then I think we're going to Yeah, probably just move over here and besiege them. Now, they're going to take Rushka. We have constructed a small harbor, and Constantinos died. Okay, I'm actually glad I didn't remove him as chancellor, because he's now dead anyways. And then, um, which vassal? I guess I'll go with the good one. Yeah, makes sense. There you go. 
And he immediately likes us. Perfect. So we have actually a relatively decent council. Um, Komitas is a craven. He's likely not going to do anything against us. Anyways, and the rest of our council actually likes us. So we're in a decent position. Okay, we can unlock a new perk. And I'm going to go for tax... Uh, tax woman. Yep. Collect tax is now even more effective. And we'll see what that changes. Nothing yet. Okay. And we have landed. We are moving on. And you have taken Rushka. Okay. That is actually worth quite something. But... You have arrived. A guest has arrived at our court. Okay, we'll ignore her for now because we have to deal with our family. Okay, now. Ooh, yeah, we have to condemn him for sure. Unless this is someone we like? No, not really. He has to be condemned for his trans transgressions. He loses one level of devotion. He's already a sinner. It's actually kind of insane. Okay, so he's going to come for my capital. And Gabriel has been swayed, which I believe means we can now stop this. Right, and obviously people are still trying to kill me. Okay, abandon this. We have improved enough relations, I think. So yeah, he's coming for my capital. Which is obviously not amazing. And we won- we have household savings. Okay, very good. And then we've won our siege. Gained even more money. Alright. And he's at my capital, which I believe... Yeah, I have to... I have to rush to defend. I can't have him take my capital. At the end of my spymaster's latest report, he pauses for a moment. There's something you should know about your Heterie. Samuel and Araf Arifa are engaged in illicit affair. The very thought disturbs me. If I did not know it to be true. She is a bastard mystic herbalist, robust. Hmm. Okay. That's not good, obviously. I think... No, this is t t uh, tyrannical. We can blackmail her, but what's the point? Um, actually, hmm. I think what I will do. Can I expose this? Hmm. I can blackmail him for a hook, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. This would be a strong hook. This is just a weak one. Hmm. Hmm. He's located in Acopolis. Do I want to blackmail someone? I don't know. I think I don't really want to mess with, with that right now. H having my, my champions basically hate me is probably not a good idea. Oh my goodness. No. Please. Is he going to actually capture me? I don't know. Even in the midst of war, Prince Dragon is willing to use any excuse to push Herotheus' claim on the Despotate. With my troops and gold bleeding away on the battlefield, I need to take a hard look at what options I have available to mitigate this threat. I must convince the realm to stand united. Interesting. You gain 10 stress because we're craven. I convince the faction to show unity. They lose discontent. How does that even matter? A tidy sum will convince them. Mm hmm He must not be allowed to act on his plans. Um, you imprison Prince Dragon. Really? We loses 30 opinion of you for 10 years in prison. All of his family loses 15 opinion. I can just imprison him. As I have a fair reason, no one will think me a tyrant. I gain dread. And they gain discontent. Uh, what? He's the war leader. And I can just imprison him right now? That seems very weird. How is that, how is that possible? 
Okay. That is very strange. Um, and full... Oh, so... Oh, interesting. So he was just... Was he just backing that? Who's the attacker? Gallant... Oh, Gallant Pospores. So he's out of the faction, basically. Interesting. Okay, well, then this is over. We lose... Yeah, okay. Enforced demands. Uh, okay. So be it. Interesting. So that was over quickly. How did that work exactly? I'm not sure. But I guess I like it. <laughs> I guess I like it. Wait, how, how come we don't li Our friend doesn't like us. Tyrant? How am I a tyrant? What? Wait, so why am I a tyrant? I don't quite get that. Oh, was the imprisonment not okay? Well, he, he rebelled against me. That doesn't make any sense. It, it said... What? I'm confused. I'm very confused as to what happened. Um, but, yeah. Where are my troops? Oh, okay. Let's disband the army. I think we would have lost, to be honest. Because they were about to capture my capital here. So, anyway, that's what happened. So let's, let's see. This was very confusing, but hey, we won. So, I'll take it. We have a ton of prisoners. So let's see what we can do here. Now, first off, um, you. You are unlanded. I think here's what I will do. Negotiate release. You will renounce your claims. I think that's definitely something we'll do. And then... Take the vows. Gain a weak hook on him. Um, do I want him at my court? No. I think this is what we'll do. Gain a weak hook. Release him. He renounces his claims. He didn't actively fight us. So that's what we'll do first. Negotiate his release. Um, then you started this whole thing i think i'm just gonna take away your can i take away your titles well my two cousins are getting these lands i think i'm just gonna keep you imprisoned for now okay let's see what happens next okay we have a favor hook farewell he's now at in farmagusta okay and then i think what i will do is if that is possible, which it, actually it should be, I'm going to take your lands away. I mean, you were imprisoned because you tried to blackmail my father. I released you, and you had no, no, but nothing better to do but to, you know, immediately uh, revolt. So we're just gonna revoke your title, and he will accept. He's a known criminal. And, uh, you concede a title revocation reason. And, uh, loses 80 opinion. And the control will be lowered. Okay, yeah, we will revoke his title, I think. Okay, he has to accept he's still imprisoned. Um, what has that done to the rest? Does he not like this? I mean, he's terrified of us anyway. Imprisoned family member. Still a tyrant for some reason. It's very strange. Levies and tax are reduced. As I'm not his rightful liege. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Famagusta. So we have gained a lot of power here. Uh, prisoners can be ransomed. We can go on a pilgrimage. Well, one thing I definitely want to do is... I want to increase control here. So we now have... Oh, we only have 30 control. But uh, martial guidance will now help. Good. And then... Right. Let's check the rest. Who else do we have in our dungeons? You will probably say... Your wife. Now, your wife hasn't really done much. She will be ransomed for 10 gold. That's fine. Yeah, she can be released. Very good. That's a good deal. Then 
What about the children? You for a favor. She's sickly. Okay. Um, we'll get a weak hook on her. I mean, she's going to die otherwise. Then we've got Michael. That is Hiriota's son. He will be ransomed for a favor as well, I guess. Okay, good deal here. Prisoner released. And you have been released. Okay. You only have claims here and on Nicopolis. Interesting. And then... Hmm. What to do with the rest of them? What to do with Dragon of Cyprus? I... I could revoke his lands too. Hmm. The question is if I should. If I revoke Nicopolis, this is an act of tyranny. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to Keep him imprisoned, although he could be released for 50 gold, and then you, you you can be imprisoned, or you can be released for 100 gold. I mean, do you have anything? You're a relatively decent fighter. I think I'm going to keep them imprisoned for a little bit, just for a little bit, until I regain control over the county, maybe for a year or something, and then we'll release them later on. Okay, now what we'll do, uh, we are going to go on our pilgrimage. I think... They will stay imprisoned for as long as we are on our pilgrimage. And then they might be released. Now, where do we want to go? Uh, Jerusalem is... I... Oh, no, Jerusalem is not really a possibility here. It's Egypt is under control. I guess we could go to Constantinople. I think that's probably... Or well, the Vatican. Hmm. Let's go to Constantinople. There you go. It's time to depart. Let's see what happens here. Okay, bandits. Oh no, I wake to the noise of a chaos of chaos in camp, but it is it only takes me a few moments to realize what is happening. We're under attack. Bandits are swarming our tents and wagons while our guards do what they can to resist. Where's my sword? I will drive these dogs away. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, there has to be somewhere around here I can hide. We spend prestige. 60% I find safety under a wagon. I get away unharmed. The bandits set fire to the wagon. Oh no. Stop this madness. I will pay whatever you want. Okay, so this is what we have to do. 60% chance. Let's see what we can do. Oh no, and we're wounded. Oh my goodness, we are so unlucky. Ill. Civil war. Now on a pilgrimage, we're wounded. This is terrible. This is really terrible. Okay, but immediately we're no longer wounded. Wow, that was quick. We have been treated very quickly. Awesome. Samuel is scheming against me. Oh no. Let the traitor be known to all. Is exposed in an, as an agent in the murder scheme. Throw him in jail. He spends everything. I imprison him. Uh, throw him in jail. Yeah. I will. I trust my friend here. If he tells me, um, if me, if he tells me this is what happened, then I will, I will, I will, tr uh, I will trust him. Throw him in jail. I should not accrue ty tyranny. Um, oh my goodness! Right, there's still people trying to kill me. Right, I kind of actually forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, there's a the thing. Anyway, we'll move on. Okay, city of the world's desire. I finally stand on the hills outside Constantinople, a glimmering jewel of civilization that echoes with the glory of the Roman Empire. It is truly a sight to behold. Near the center, I can see Hagia Sophia, the great center of worship, which is often considered epitome of Byzantine architecture. It is far from the only wonder here, though, and as I gaze out over the city, I marvel at the glories of God's creation. Okay, we gain a lot of piety. We become a pilgrim, and we get the seat of bishops. 
I have walked the holy path. And we are immediately faithful. We have gained a level of devotion. Cool. Very good. And as pilgrim, we gain more monthly piety now. Very good. Now, uh, some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. After a long day, I am complaining to Maximus when he interrupts me. Let me do something about it. Mm hmm. As Storakius could use a tutor. A few lessons to my steward. Hmm. Stay here with me instead. We can improve relations with him. Well, we're currently not home, so it doesn't really make much sense. You can, I guess, tutor our diplomat, our chancellor. Why not? Although, actually, no, you know what? We want more money. So let's teach Kumitas a few things, even if you won't like it. Okay, additional taxes. We lost stress because we're greedy. Okay, well, this apparently worked. Immediately after he uh, was studying stewardship, he uh, gave us even more money. Awesome. That's, that's great. Okay, and we have now returned home. Very nice. Look how she, uh, look how, <laughs> how anxious she looks. It's kind of funny. All right. And let's check out our prisoners here. So it's been four months. Very well. Phosphorius. 100 gold, and I will ransom you. I mean, you don't have any lands. There's nothing you can really do, right? I would think so. He's still allied to Prince Dragon. So ransom you. And I have become the new dynasty head of the Orphanotrophus dynasty. Okay, very good. And then Samuel, I can ransom you. Pays 20 to you. Uh, does he pay me that money? What am I going to pay myself? No, I pay myself. So it's kind of stupid then. Hmm. And we'll just leave him here, I guess. He's in a dungeon. And then you, my uncle, um, negotiate a release. He could be banished. Imprisoned characters can be banished from the realm, which is arguably the harshest form of punishment. Banished landed rulers are deposed while banished courtiers have their assets seized. Interesting. So this is something I could do. Oh, yeah. Banish him. Leaves the prison. Banishment without a reason. Some severe crime is considered extremely tyrannical. And then... Okay, this wouldn't work. But this would work. Banish him? Sure. And we'll take his gold. And he can just leave. So let's see how, if that was tyrannical. Um, no, it wasn't. Good. Farewell then. And he's now at someone else's. Oh, yeah, he's he's gone to our... Huh, this is actually kind of interesting. Look at that. He actually went to the Muslims. Well, that actually, he just showed his true colors, basically. All right. So far, so good. And then how do I deal with... Oh, so could I have, I could have banished, damn it. That's annoying. I could have banished that dude. Um, what's his face? Um, Bosporius. I would have probably gotten a lot more money. Then again, um, this is an act of tyranny. So I can't really do that. Renounce claims. Uh, I think that's smart. Gain a hook. Do that or... Do I want money from you? 50 gold. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the gold probably. And uh, you can you can leave. You've been here for five months. I just wouldn't rise up again if I was you. But we'll see if he does. Okay. That was a good deal. So we have a ton of money. Uh, low control. Right, that was taken as well, so that's problematic. And powerful vassals want positions. Well, I don't really have any positions, so that's too bad. 
Five years are left. Wow, that is kind of crazy. Whew. Okay, so rocky start, but I think we've handled it quite well. Um, so far, so good. We've got a lot of money. We'll be spending that on buildings. But for now, that was it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.